How are you doing today? Hope you're fresh and well and beautiful on another uh, beautiful day here today in sunny, beautiful England. I mean, it's not got that stereotypical kind of grey look or wet or dreary or damp kind of feel today. It's, it's one of those beautiful days going into winter. I mean, look at it. It is looking fan dabby dozy. <laughs> Uh, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, it is first thing on, what even day is it? I think it's Thursday. Yes, yeah, Thursday morning today. And today's gonna be one of those days where I'm kind of gonna be like running around a little bit. I'm going back uh, this direction now because I've basically got another chiropractic treatment. Um, that's in about half an hour. Uh, then I've got to meet my friend uh, Aaron who some of you guys already will know some of you guys might not know um, I'll explain all that in a minute uh, then Holly is given blood today this afternoon so I said I'd go with her to uh, give blood as well and she wants me to give blood but I don't know if I can literally just rock up on the day and just put my arm out and get them to suck a pint of blood out of me I'm not sure And as quick as that, I'm now out of the chiropractor again. He said the very short amount of time which I've been going, only two two sessions, that it's it's going well. It's going good. There's a lot more like movement and stuff. And then I was thinking, I would like to kind of bring you guys along to show you what it's like in a chiropractic treatment if you haven't been in one before. And then I was thinking, I walk into a room, okay, I'll get down to my pants, my underwear. I basically get interlocked with another man and he snaps and cracks me to a more flexible uh, and then I leave and then I pay him. Something weird or strange about that is there? <laughs> and also today I've got an ice pack for any sore areas. <laughs> Right, so I'm now driving over to meet my friend Aaron. I'm sure everyone knows Aaron. Um, he basically is a really, really great uh, like writer and producer and everything. And he's pitching on a, a new project, what he wants to get involved in. Um, and he's basically kind of asked for some of my input and such. So I'm just gonna go meet him now for like an hour or so and kind of see what it's all about. Wow, it is like super busy here. Doesn't look like much, but this is basically where I'm meeting Aaron in the Bocca Bar. He always goes here. He loves working here. It's like I always go to Costa or Nero or Starbucks or something. Aaron always comes here. Nice local little place. This is the car park though. Not exactly the uh, nice as a car park to drive in. You have to avoid every single pothole. It's like a little game. So we're just coming to see Aaron. How you doing, Aaron? I'm good, I'm good. We've only seen each other like once in about four months. We've been missing Aaron. You guys have been missing Aaron as well. Half of them don't know you. Half of them don't know you anymore. This is Aaron. He's a very talented scriptwriter, <laughs> producer, and I believe that Aaron's pretty much the only person who brings his whole computer <laughs> to do work. Doesn't have a laptop or anything into a very 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 busy restaurant you've been like doing loads and loads of work but this is one of the main reasons why we haven't seen each other is because I've been very busy doing all of my work and Aaron's been so busy doing all of his work 
been, been out of the country a few times with America and with Spain and stuff, so. We were in some of your earlier vloggers, some of Jake's earlier guys, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't fallen out. We just don't work with each other anymore. <laughs> but yeah, we've basically just been discussing about some hopefully some more potential kind of work, just discussing different ideas, what we both have and things, and just going from there, really, and having a catch up. Having a little bev, a cheeky little bev. Well, that was a good, awesome couple hours I just spent there with Aaron, talking, catching up discussing a few different ideas and stuff or a couple of his projects, a couple of my kind of upcoming projects and things. And I always walk away after meeting Aaron or kind of creative people and stuff. So infused, full of like energy and creativity. And it's like, it goes back to like, I don't know, there is a saying, but I can't remember exactly what the saying is, but you basically surround yourself with like other creative people, like-minded people and just really, really, pays off it yeah it just it gives me a lot of like drive and progression and stuff so Aaron you done well you, you really reimbursed my energy <laughs> nervous a little bit whoa god <laughs> I just fell off the curb this is it Holly moment of truth Holly is gonna be giving blood not in the van, like, not in not in the van. where do we go in here I've never been here before, the Salvation Army. Okay. Holly's really hoping that she can give blood this time, because last time she couldn't do it. So that's why she had to wait for a year and a half. <laughs> it's been a sensation. So, I didn't film the needle going in, because it's pretty horrific. <laughs> I didn't want this to be X-rated by any means. It wasn't that bad, it was actually really quick. Yeah. Just two seconds. It is. Just a bit of scratch. It's big needles, like this big. Yeah. And basically, Holly was saying that the only reason she <laughs> decided to start giving it's not the only reason, it's the main reason. One of. Yeah, that I actually had a really bad fear of needles. So I thought to get over it, stick one in my Yeah. Hand. And they draw, how much do they take out? A pint, I think. A pint of blood. It's that little bag down there. So that is the arm with the needle and you going in. squeeze your hand. Keep Yo, keep, yeah, keep squeezing so the blood keeps pumping. And then, and then. Oh, see, so he's like rocking down there. It keeps it moving. Why does it I don't do know. that? You don't know. I know, Maybe it just stop makes it noise. like Maybe. rotting or something. And you've got to keep squeezing the hand. I guess so it fills evenly, I guess. Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. If Holly stops squeezing the hand, the alarm goes off because the blood stops flowing. <laughs> it did that to me last time. I got too relaxed. And just... <laughs> <laughs> just don't pass out. Yeah. All right, so far, I drank loads of water. That's okay. <laughs> So we are done. That doesn't take like that. long at all. I thought it takes a lot longer to give blood. No, it's like a race. The, the pro people have a little race to see how fast they can like get a whole pint up their arm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great game. Some woman in there overheard her say it took a four minutes. That's really good. I think mine was four minutes uh, to get nearly nine blood. minutes. <laughs> yeah. I would get a little bit worried that I'd, you know, pass out or feel a little bit queasy given that much out, blood. Be fine. Yeah, I suppose. All right, anyways. Yeah, I think I will do it next time. You've got to like register online no and things. No thinking about it. You're gonna do it. Yeah, You're Holly. Register you now. <laughs> Holly did say that she filled in the questionnaire then, <laughs> and it basically said, "Would you recommend it to a friend?" And I thought I and have I done. And I am that friend. I said I already have, so you have to do it, otherwise I would have been yeah. fine. <laughs> but then the next time is not until April, so it's still mm -hmm. like, what's that, six months away still? Uh, five yeah. months, five, six months away? There might be a sooner one, but because for women I think you have to wait like at least four or five months. Oh, uh, okay. Whereas men use every three months, I think. Oh, so maybe I could do it sooner. So you could do it sooner if you're really keen, but I won't be able to. No, <laughs> well you can come in and you can hold my hand and support me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Well, that didn't take long at all, did it, Holly? Nope. Straight on it. Yep. Go straight back, straight on the laptop. I've registered and I've now booked in to give blood on the 18th of February, which is sooner than what we said just now, April time, when you're going to be doing it next. 
but I'm going to be doing it on the 18th of February. <laughs> Down, 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 down. We had a little bit of a fail just now. The noodles totally Teeny died. bit of a fail. These noodles have failed us. <laughs> the packaging is incorrect. We bought these lovely noodles. Look, folded rice noodles. Sen lac. Mm -hmm. Sen lac. It's said to boil them for 10 to 12 minutes. Holly did it for like just over five and they're ruined. They are like smushed. They are just... Smush. I it's like noodles normally need three. Yeah. So they've turned to smush. So luckily, we found some frozen rice. Holly's pre-cooked it like ages ago. Left in the freezer. Just getting that bad boy defrosted now. We got sweet and sour. Loads of vegetables. Yes. Surprise, surprise. Loads of veggies. From curly kale to spinach to. Courgettes to leeks to cucumbers to peas, loads and loads of scrumminess. Hello, kitty. Mm -hmm. Hello, kitty. Oh, Rarrow. Kitty, you were meant to say hello. Kitty, you meant to say oh, 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 hello. Kitty likes that. Don't you, kitty? <laughs> You're lucky, Miss Kitty. You're lucky that I don't have a cucumber today. What are you doing? You're gonna fall off in a minute, you crazy cat. You crazy kitty. I was just going through some of your comments on yesterday's video, and honestly, I had no idea that fluff was so popular. <laughs> Literally, so many of you guys have commented that you eat fluff in a sandwich with peanut butter. And I don't jelly. You. I don't believe you. That literally like blows my mind. I don't know anyone. I thought it was kind of like a joke food that no one really eats. Yeah. It must be like it's got to be like an American food, right? To put fluff into a sandwich. I don't, I don't know. It must be. Shops, so we must have it here. But but then jelly like like our jelly isn't. Like American jelly, yeah, okay. so peanut butter and jelly would be peanut, peanut butter, butter and jam. jam. Yeah. So yeah, it's got to be. It just I made me laugh how I literally had no idea, and I was I saw it on the shelf. I was like, who? What even is this fluff? <laughs> and then You're everyone commented. <laughs> yeah. So honestly, we had no idea that that was like as big as it actually is. <laughs> and now it is time. Are you guys ready? You should know what I'm just about to announce. I'm about to announce it, Holly. Uh, yeah. I'm about to announce it. You are? The American video oh, is yeah. live on my films channel. The link is in the very top of this description. Go over there, go check it out. I'd love to know what you think of it. It's a literally like two minute long best of bits, best bits of America. My kind of style and stuff of what I did in America. Go over, check it out. I really want to know what you thought of it. And I will now leave you with those three very important things, which are, as always, stay happy, stay positive, stay awesome. I mean, this fell over. That's the second time today I fell over. You call that balance. Me and this one. I'll see all of you bright and early tomorrow morning. <laughs> Goodbye. Maybe because it's...